Memorial Day weekend means summer is just around the corner, but as temperatures rise, so do the number of ticks spreading Lyme disease. It comes from the bacteria. It can lead to a fever, headaches, and fatigue. There were nearly 25,000 cases confirmed in 2011, and that is triple the number from just 20 years ago. Dr. Holly Phillips is here with what you need to know to stay safe. Triple the number. Hi, Dr. Phillips. That seems high. Why so high? You, for two reasons. Number one, we're testing for it more, which is a good thing, so we're picking it up more often. But number two, the deer population is actually increasing. Even though the ticks uh, actually catch Lyme disease from mice, they multiply on deer. The more deer there are, the more deer ticks, and the greater risk of Lyme disease. So do all, tier, all deer tick bites result in Lyme disease? Well, I'm ready for my pop quiz yeah. this yeah. morning. Yeah. Let's um, see how you yeah, do. <laughs> exactly. Uh, that is actually false. Uh, only one out of every four or five black-legged ticks, which is the type that carry Lyme disease, actually have the bacterium. And there's another reason they don't all transmit Lyme, which is that a tick has to be attached to your body for more than 24 hours to transmit the disease. If you catch it in time, you're more likely not to get it. Do, do almost all cases involve this kind of bullseye rash? Because you said almost, that's true. It's 80 to 90 percent of cases will have the bullseye rash. But remember, you might not see it. Ticks attach in areas where we don't always look, like the armpit, like where? behind mm. the knee, right, in right. the groin. They just uh, attach in these dark hiding places. So that's where the rash is, and so you might miss the tick and the rash. Can your pet give you Lyme disease? Your pet cannot, but a dog or cat that goes outside and comes in can carry the tick in, which can then give you the Lyme disease. So you've got to check your pet too. Absolutely. Yeah. There, there's medication and collars that can help prevent ticks from attaching to your pet. And once you get it, you always have it? That is mostly false. Now, I'm going to say mostly because when Lyme disease is caught early, it's treated very well and easily with antibiotics. In 10 to 20 percent of cases, people get chronic Lyme disease. That's where we see these neurologic problems, heart problems, and joint pain. Most of those cases are also treated easily with antibiotics, but there have been situations where people report lifelong symptoms. Perhaps the most important question, uh, how do you, if you see the tick, what do you do with the tick? Well, my mother said, uh, my grandmother rather, said to burn it off or pour salt on it. Oh. She was wrong in both cases. <laughs> you grab tweezers, you pull it out as close to the skin as possible and make sure you got all of it off. Did you tell her she was wrong? Have you had the chance Absolutely to Absolutely yeah. not. I, I would never let her know that. <laughs> yes, yeah, right, uh, gotcha. But then you can keep the tick, take it to your doctor, and send it off to a lab to see if it carried Lyme disease. All right. Thank you, Holly. That's good information.